Welcome all David Singer Enterprise clients and Gupta Enterprise clients. It is time for another live webinar uh, on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Uh, today we got a special guest uh, as we have been adding special guests to the webinars. Uh, this one's dear to me because LK Graphics. So, you know, I was just speaking with Linda and I have Linda on the phone who's the owner of LK Graphic uh, Communications. Hey, Linda. Hey, Raj. How you doing? Doing great, thank you. So thanks for being with us. And uh, you know, I want to thank you because as I was saying, Dr. Singer, he came up with all these different systems and procedures for us to be able to communicate to prospective patients and then how to convert them into patients uh, and then how to use the paperwork to do that seamlessly with systems and procedures in place. And LK Graphics, as long as I have been a David Singer client, has provided the paperwork and forms that uh, go hand in hand uh, that with what David has created. So it makes it so much easier. And uh, you know what, Linda, I, I didn't see, and uh, I know you make it because I still use it, which is the, the consultation form uh, that the doctor fills out. They're blue and they're two or three pages long. Yes, we still do um, make those. <laughs> Yes, so you know what? I think what I'd like to do is schedule another webinar with you where we can review those consultation forms because I have done webinars uh, teaching clients how to uh, speak to patients uh, during the consult to make them take accountability for their care and the questions necessary to lead that patient down that route are all right on the form. So this way the, the doctors don't even have to memorize like me when I was beginning, I wanted to make sure I didn't leave anything out on the consult. Those blue consultation forms are, and I still use them today. I still use them today. Not that I, I rely on them as much as I used to, but it's always good to know that they're right there. Uh, if I have some, some questions, I review all my paperwork and silence in front of the patient for a minute or two when I'm done. And I review those forms to see if I missed anything. So it's always very helpful. So, uh, I want to tell everybody out there the way to get in touch with LK Graphic Communications is on, online. What's your website again, Linda? Uh, it's lkgraphics.com. Great. Easy enough. And the 800 number is 800-548-3676. And listen, we'll repeat this as we end the presentation. And uh, we're going to take you through today a bunch of different forms uh, that you would use at different uh, states of uh, of patient progression. Even the first one uh, being the uh, it's primary script. So I use this, this pamphlet when I go out to screenings uh, or uh, I'm out at uh, massage days. Uh, even when I'm doing lectures, I pass this out so people have something to read before I begin or while I'm talking. Uh, it helps keep them engaged uh, while listening to what I'm saying uh, because this, uh, you know, this is, is, is it's a compound interest. You know, they're hearing what I'm saying and then they're reading it in front of them. So the three reasons why we feel that Americans have health problems in the United States are uh, toxicity um, and uh, the amount of chemicals that we put into our body um, from air and food and water. Uh, the second reason is uh, because our bodies break down as a result of stress. We have hormonal imbalance due to adrenal gland insufficiency. Um, and it, they talk about that right here. And then the third reason, of course, is undetected nerve damage. So when out um, doing screening, so just like the blue consultation forms that I just spoke about, so if you're a new doc and, you know, sometimes, listen, learning the primary script took me about 15 years to the point where I can handle it and any objection that came my way. What's great about these pamphlets is they're right in front of you. You could have this in your hand while explaining the three reasons why we feel Americans have health problems. And if you should forget one, they're right in front of you. So say for instance, going back to the last, the second reason is reducing the de destructive effects of stress. But you know what? Yeah, stress is devastating to the body. But what if you get caught up in your words? You're speaking to someone and you forget why and what it actually does. Well, you look down on the pamphlet and it says, well, it breaks down your adrenal glands. And then that gets you, keeps you going again. So if you get something else, you get caught up in your words, you don't know where to go from there, you look down at the pamphlet and there's number three. And, of course, you close that by saying, I don't know if I can help you. I'm just saying it's worth a chance for us to find out. Um, and 
you book them for an appointment. So they're coming into your office now. You did a good job at the primary script, explaining to them that, uh, you know, you have a unique, by the way, when you're doing your screenings, that's the most important word, as Dr. Singer will always say. Uh, you're, you have a, you have, your office is unique. And it, you have a unique way of handling health problems. And, of course, the primary script and the three reasons uh, why Americans have health problems is uh, what you continue that conversation with. So you book them. They come in for a, a new patient visit. You're going to give them a tour of your office, as we've spoken about at seminars. I don't believe I've done a webinar on that yet. Um, and you make them comfortable. Sometimes you give them a new patient welcome gift for us in our office. We do a keychain flashlight, one of those little uh, rectangular button battery operated flashlights. That's a keychain. Everybody loves that. It goes right in there onto their keychain. Um, and uh, it, they have their keys out so people, it's good advertising for you. They sit down, you're going to give them new patient paperwork to fill out. Um, and here is the new patient paperwork available from LK Graphics. Um, so, Linda, have you revised this? Is this the same, these are the same forms that you've been using for years? It looks like it. Yes, they are. Okay, great. So, um, it basically, it's very, it's laid out. It tells your, your patient exactly um, how the new patient procedure is going to be laid out and what they can expect, uh, which I love. So, because when you have a new patient come into the office, they always have a wall up, um, whether it's called white coat syndrome or what. Um, there always is some resistance and a little bit of a wall, but listen, you sit them down, you give the new patient paperwork, you give them a welcome gift, and all of a sudden they look on the front page and it says, this is exactly how your new patient visit is going to happen. Um, so they fill out the paperwork. This is the inside of it and then back page. And it, it mentions a little bit about relief and corrective care. Now that's set them, setting you up because you're going to be speaking to them about relief and corrective care uh, on a future visit. Uh, so, Linda, these are a pack of 100, and that's not for each page, obviously. So it's a four-page packet. You get a packet of 100 for $36. That is correct, yes. Gets the patient to start thinking about fixing the problem once and for all and not choosing relief care. So you're leading them down the path because you're going to be talking about that. Okay. So here's your day one pamphlet. This is something that you would give out to the patient. They're done with their new patient paperwork now. They just completed that. They bring it up to the front desk. They give it to your front desk staff. And in exchange for that clipboard and information, your, your front desk staff is now going to hand out this packet. Uh, this pamphlet. And this pamphlet explains basically what chiropractic is. The, uh, glands, alignment, vertebra. Um, so again, a subluxation. So they understand a little bit better now it, that they might be uh, a good fit for the office. And a pack of 50 of them, this is ridiculously cheap, guys. So this is, this is what LK Graphic does for you. It makes you look very professional at discounted rates. These are customized for our clients who are speaking this language. Now, there's also the, uh, so we'll come back to this. This is the four-day report packet. This is a great deal. What does this include? I'm sorry, Linda. What does this include? Well, these pamphlets, um, this special, you can do four packs of pamphlets, mix and match, and you get a fifth pack free. Um, each pack is only $28 in the four-day report. So in essence, you know, you could double up and buy a, a second or get a second pack of what is chiropractic or uh, function for free if you buy all gotcha. four of those pamphlets. That's a great deal. I think they're cheap to begin with. So um, awesome. So again, this is the primary script right here that you take out the screening. Function we haven't reviewed yet, we're about to. What is chiropractic we haven't reviewed yet, but I'm going to show you that as well because I use that and you guys have who just recently came to uh, the seminar saw me do this. It's a merit chart when I'm doing the report of findings. Uh, so I can under, have patients understand that they have uh, this electrical system that's controlled by their brain and it's just a series of wires off their telephone cord, which is their spinal cord. Um, and then each nerve has a specific area that it goes to. And then, um, so I'll talk about that in a second, but this is, that's great. So you can mix and match. I didn't even realize you could do that. 
Okay, so here's your day one pamphlet. So this says, now you're going to give this to the patient after you do your consult um, and your day one. So you're explaining to them what chiropractic is. And, and the nurse, you know, when I hand out this pamphlet, because I know a lot of us are integrated, I tell them, you know, this, this pamphlet says that this is what chiropractic is, but this is how your body works. Your neurologist works the same way. This is your electrical system, and this is how it works. And I explain that nerves go to different areas, and I want them to look at these areas. And when they come back in, so I, I do this on day two, which is like, so I took the four-day report, which like a lot of the clients have done, and combined it into two days. I'm in New Jersey. If I had to wait four days, I'd lose everybody. So I do everything that is in the four-day report, but I condense it into two. So this is something that I would do on my second day, as opposed to handing it out on day one, and sending them home with it. Uh, the relief versus corrective care plants a, a seed when they're filling out their new patient paperwork. I hold this, and this is one of the first things I do during my report of findings. What I do during my report of findings, if you were at the last seminar, I went through it. I show them the, all the positive uh, findings that I found as a result of their exam. And in this case, a positive is a negative. I added them all up. And I go and I, told, I show them how I'm about to take it onto the progress, the patient progress graph, which we'll cover in a second. But before I go there, I take them to the screen. We have digital x-rays, and I show them their x-rays. When I show them their x-rays, I show them the different areas that I have problems with that were abnormal. And then I take out this form, this, this merit chart, which is already highlighted prior to my report of findings visit. So I go in there with a highlighted with the air I highlight the areas that I find to be misaligned on the X ray. So I go right from the screen where I show them the misalignment to the area that's highlighted and I say, okay, say for instance, here at uh what is that? C seven, your if it goes to your vocal cords, your neck glands, your pharynx. I'm pointing without using the mouse, oh my goodness. Um and then if that nerve were pinched coming out from this area, which we saw on your x-ray, then you might have chronic laryngitis. Or do you, do you get hoarse a lot? A lot of sore throat? Quincy, by the way, I looked that up after years of, of going through this merit chart. Quincy is like a, uh, anthill, it's almost like a, a trigger point, an anthill of a muscle spasm. Um, but it's, it's, it's on the throat or back of neck. But, uh, so I explain that to patients and like, oh my gosh, Dr. Raj, I do get frequent sore throats in the wintertime. I'm like, well, we found that that might be coming as a result of you not, if you having a bad phone connection, a bad cell phone connection to that area. So we're looking at that area. So I do that in my day too. But this is fantastic because what you could do is you can give them this at the report of findings and send it home with them. Now, uh, Linda, do you also make this on a pad? We do. We also make that on a pad. It's um, a two-color pad. It's a little more detailed. Um, yes. And it's very, uh, it comes pads of 100 for $15, but it, it's, you know, all oh there goodness. for you. Yeah, cause that, and it makes you look very professional because you write the patient name up top. This is a spot for it. The date is right there. And then it's color. It's, it's a colored form, so it, it, it looks, it presents very well. So that's very cheap, and that's what I use. I use the pad. So I, we rip one off. And we, we, when we're, the doctor is surmising all of the objective findings, uh, we actually hand this off now to a front desk staff who tabulate it and then set up the patient progress graph, which we're about to get to, um, and the, fill out the merit chart which, on that pad, and we shove it into the file for the doctor to review with the patient. So on day two, when the patient, before they come in for their visit to get the report of findings, we also give out this pamphlet on function. Um, so it talks about the nervous system and it talks about, so I'm already, I had already spoken about this or I'm about to speak about this because I'm about to whip out that merit chart on that pad that I have highlighted. So this is perfect for them to read in the waiting room prior to being brought back for the report of findings. It says the nervous system is com 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 composed of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves and the spinal cord is, is a thick, cable consisting of millions of nerves, and then I immediately liken that to a phone a phone cord, and I I ask them if they remember what a what what a um 
an actual phone was like, a corded, wired phone. Um, and if they are of age, they say, of course. And then, you know, you ask them if you were on that phone, a wired, corded phone line, and someone came up and cut the cord, you know, you would lose all communication. So on, uh, now, fast forward to the future, with cell phones, you can have a connection, but a bad one. So that's what we're looking for when we're talking about the nervous system. We want to make sure your nervous system and your phone line has no interference on it. As a result, your immune system works better. So that And that's what this pamphlet talks about. And that's why it helps a great deal, just like the initial paperwork when they get that seed of relief versus corrective care. So now they're getting the seed of how your body actually functions. And you have this wired network. Uh, just like an internet network, you want it to be clear. So uh, and a packet of those are also $28 uh, for 50 and, and again, mix and match um, when you buy several. And you should buy several. By the way, guys, you know what? Uh, LK Graphics, you know, so, so since David has, has, has uh, all but retired and, and left me, there's a lot of cities out there that are, that are no longer receiving – uh, services. Um, I'm, I'm looking to get back up, but, you know, of course, I have my own practice. So as a result, there's not as, we're not in as many cities as we used to be. So LK Graphics has suffered. So make yourself look professional. Do it inexpensively and call LK Graphics, man. And this is, listen, I, you guys have asked me to help you succeed, and this is what has led to my success. So relief versus corrective pamphlet now. Now, this is what you planted the seed for. So let me tell you how I do this. So I now I'm doing my day two report of findings. I took them. I showed them their x-rays. I likened that to the merit chart, and I showed them the specific nerves that I'm concerned are not functioning properly, and they don't have a clear cell phone line. And then I'm going to do. I'm going to take that merit chart, and, and that's why I like the pad, and I flip it over to the blank side. And on the blank side, I now do a brain body diagram. Hey, Linda, do you guys have a brain body diagram? Has Dr. Singer ever had you make one you know, up? Yes, we do. We have had one. We've okay. used it for years. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. You know what? I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that because that makes it really easy because the, I'm going to tell you, at docs out there, and we'll definitely relate when I tell you that there are times, like, my mind is not there. I walk in. And I forget what I'm doing. I forget how to do the brain body diagram. You know, of course, now I could I do it in my sleep. But to have that form right in front of you, just like the primary script in, in the pamphlet, the consultation questions on the consultation form, it's good to have the brain body diagram uh, so they can find that on the website, Linda? Yes, they can. And Or okay. give me a call and I can email them direct links. Okay, awesome. So sorry, I, I forgot to ask you to include that because I definitely do do that. So I flip over that merit chart um, and I do the brain body diagram. When I get to the brain body, body diagram, that leads you right into relief versus corrective care. So you get to the bottom, you say the last thing that comes, I'm sorry, the first thing that goes away when you start feeling better is the last thing that comes and that's symptoms. You don't cough and sneeze and then get a cold. 80% of people that have heart disease, the first symptom that they get is a heart attack, which could be fatal. So symptoms come last, and the first thing to go away as you start to get better are the symptoms. And if the symptoms go away, Mrs. Jones, and so does Mrs. Jones, then it's just a matter of time before those symptoms return because you still have the disease, dis-ease, the malfunction, and the subluxation. So it's a wicked cycle. So there's a different type of care. There's relief care and then there's corrective care. So that takes you right into this pamphlet that they had, uh, that, they, that you give them. And uh, now that they understand, you, you can even just flip over. Now that you gave them the explanation of it, you flip it over and you do the questions right there. In the long run, which, time, which do you think takes less time? And, and if they don't know, if they ask some questions, then you answer that question. Well, it's relief, it, it, which takes less time, is corrective care. Because you're not, so it's like, and you liken that to a leak in the roof, 
You can patch it up, and the next time it rains, it leaks again. You can patch it up again, which is going to cost you less money probably fixing it the first time than all that paint and patchwork that you need to do each time it does rain. There's a break-even point. Like if you're putting oil in your car because it's always low, there's a point in time where it could have fixed the leak in the oil tank and would have cost you less money than the oil you put in it. So it, it leads you right into the question. And again, it's dummy proof for the doctor. You don't have to remember everything. You just have to remember the order of when they get these brochures. And again, they're $28 for a pack of 50. This is the inside of them, and you can mix and match. So guys, I don't know why you wouldn't be using this because it helps you. It helps me help you and Dr. Singer. This is what we've been teaching. This is what you're trying to implement. And it makes it more difficult for you if you force yourself to have to remember. So this is the whole brochure, front, back, and, and, uh, and middle. Here, it talks about relief care is necessary only to relieve the symptom, not care. Uh, not the care needed to correct the problem. A boat has a leak. You can use a pail and bail out the water. You could take the boat out of the water and repair the actual leak. Um, you know, this is perfect example. So if you have a crack in your one of your windows in the house and it's winter time, you could tape it up with duct tape. But I'm, I'm telling you, that's not as efficient and will cost you more money over the long haul heating that house than actually replacing the window. Easy peasy. So now I've uh, accepted the patient for care. I told them that uh, now you have two questions, how long and how much. And uh, now we're going to talk about how long. How long you have your patient progress graph. So you're going to uh, tabulate uh, all, and calculate all of the positive findings that you found on your exam. You're going to write it on the back of this form. You're going to transfer trigger points. I usually cross that out and put trigger points. It's easier terminology for me in my office. Range of motion, I add orthopedic tests. I add x-ray findings. And I add muscle testing. So then I, however many positive findings I write in this column right here. Um, and then I, I, I add them up. So let's say that number comes for easy purposes, 25 positive tests. Um, or 50 positive tests. I divide 100 by 50. It tells me each test is worth two points. So I flip this over again, and I and I write um, I, I, the initial day of the exam. This would already be filled in, so it was probably yesterday if you got the patient to come back the following day. And I already have the the, the big mark, big ink mark blot at zero. Patient's name is written at. I'm pointing again without the mouse. Uh, the patient's name is also written here. So they see that you put some time and effort into this. By the way, this is already filled out on the back. And um, you say, okay, so this is, how, this is what we need to do. We haven't made any improvement. You're at 0%, Mary. We didn't start with you yet. But after 12 visits, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retest these 50 positive tests. Hopefully, next time you, let's say next time you, after 12 visits, you, you only have 30 positive tests. So your, your improvement is you have 20 fewer tests. We take that 20 fewer tests, we times it by how much each test is worth, which is two points, and you have 40% improvement. And I go, Mary, you'd be up here, and that'd be fantastic. Our goal for our patients after 12 visits is 25% improvement. So after 12 visits, if you are able to exceed that goal, I can reduce your treatment program. And that walks you right into the discussion on treatment program. And, and that's, that's not what this webinar is about today. Um, I've done that, and you can check out previous webinars. They're all recorded where I talk about how to administer a prescribed treatment program to the patient in the day two. Um, but this uh, graph, again, this form walks you right into your presentation for your day two acceptance and then financial close. If you picked up on what I was saying is that when I accept a patient, I say, I know you have two questions now. Good news, Mary. I can accept you for care. And she says, that's awesome. So I'm like, Mary, now you have two questions. If you're like anyone else I've ever started up, how much and how long? So let's start with how, how long. And that's where this patient progress graph comes in. Mary, eventually I want to get you between 85 and 100% improvement, which when I, that's our goal for all patients, which at that point I can discharge you. 
If you don't make that and you level off on this graph and that's maximal medical improvement, that's when I discharge. So the patient knows that there's a beginning and an end. So those are the patient progress graphs. And if nothing else, you must all buy these. This is good for you to review with the patient because each time they're going to see their graph go up, up, up. If they stop coming in and they come back into you, they're, you're going to do a reval. It's going to show them going down, down, down. And they will get it. And they also understand the difference between relief and corre corrective care and maintenance care. And maintenance care starts at 90%. 20 bucks for a pack of 100. You know what? Uh, the only thing Linda could do better there would be able for you to order a pack and she pays you. That is ridiculously cheap for you guys to stay efficient like a well-oiled machine. Lastly, and we're going to wrap it up, is uh, your appointment calendar. So after I get the patient to accept care and uh, their treatment program of three days a week, I tell them that I want to schedule them for a month out until their next reeval or their next 12 visits. At three times a week, that's four weeks. So we can go ahead and we can do it right here. So if you can and you're able to, you can schedule patients for three months. Um, I have found in my office that a month at a time works out great. You could reuse this form or make a new one. This is, Linda, is this two-ply? It is, yes? It is. It's a two-part NCR form. So one part goes into your files and the other part you give to the patient. So what's beautiful about this is you're never going to get better patient compliance than the day you accept them for care. So now, at that point, when they've accepted your care, they've accepted your treatment plan of three times a week for four weeks, you take out this form, which is two-ply, you write the, the date, the, your name, the doctor, phone number, patient information. You don't have to fill out this if you don't. You can, I'd be, oh, re-exam, good, 12 visits, I'd put. Re-extra, I'd put one, six months or one year, whatever you guys do. And I'd go down and say, okay, Mary, listen, what days work out best for you? Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, you tell me. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Doc. Okay, mornings or afternoon? Afternoon. What's the best time for you in the afternoon? Three or five? Five. Okay. Uh, four, Doc. Okay, well, let me go check. Let me find out. Or what I can do is I could, I could give you that right now, and then we can confirm when we walk up at the front desk that that time's going to work. Sometimes they don't, but in this case, we'll, we'll come up with another one and they'll give you another sheet. So let's go ahead and, and, and circle those dates and those times. And you put the times down here. And then you, whoosh, you rip off your top page, you give it to the patient, and then they see you and you make a dog and pony show out of it that they, you put it in their file. You walk them up to the front desk. And this, of course, this is after you handle all the financials. You, or you could do this first and then handle the financials. That's best. And then when you're done with the entire visit, you walk the patient up front, you take out your half of the two-ply, you give it to the front desk, you say, this is where Mary is going to be coming in. Please make sure that you say to the front desk in front of the patient, please make sure that this form gets back into Mary's file when you're done putting her into the system. Mary, it was great seeing you today. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you on your next visit. Every step of the way of the patient process, you can use an elk you should be using the lk graphics form it just makes it easy for you and there's no reason at these prices for you not to um linda in closing is uh first of all again i want to thank you for what you have done for us um as a profession and uh, you being able to help us and david singer enterprises and gupta enterprises out by the way all of you i, I don't know if you know this but uh, lk graphics is kind enough to print all of our seminar notes for us they have for years 20 years how long have you been doing that Linda? oh you know i've been doing this for at least 28 years yes 28 years okay well long. it is unbelievable i've been doing this six months <laughs> but I'm committed to helping LK Graphics because you've helped me for so many years. I've been, I have been a chiropractor for 22 years. I've been a singer client on and off for that 22 years. And I've always, it's just, it's, I don't have to reinvent the wheel, man. I went to David. He taught me stuff. I called LK Graphics and it showed up in my office. So I thank you for your dedication to us. I thank you for your prices. <laughs> and, uh, well, um, and again, thank I, you I thank very you much. Thank you for attending.
Mm-hmm. Thank it's you my very pleasure. much. So, Linda, one more time, how can everybody get in, t- in contact with you? Well, just call the 800 number. It's the easiest way. Uh, it's 1-800-548-3676. And, um, you know, I can awesome. help you out with whatever it is you need, email you any information you need, or, you know, take care of your order right there and then. We also have a website. So, you yeah. can order on the website. Awesome. LKGraphics.com. And also, everybody... Uh, stay tuned because in October we're going to bring Linda back. We were just talking about doing an entire webinar on how to do the holiday mailer. The holiday mailer is a huge new patient generator that Dr. Singer has been teaching for uh, probably 28 years as well. Um, and LK Graphics provides you with all that. You customize these, these uh, Christmas cards or holiday cards. Um, you get a bunch of different designs to choose from. It is a huge win. So we're going to bring Linda back in October uh, to cover that. And uh, in the meantime, Linda, thanks so much again for attending today. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.